Hi, how are you? I hope you're keeping well. Um, today's video is going to be budget skincare, loads of great skincare things that cost less than £10 that I think do a really, really good job. Um, I've been kind of experimenting with them for a few months to find things that I thought were really delivering um, that didn't cost the earth. And actually, I found loads of great options. Um, one thing I'll point out, if you are specifically looking more for rosacea skincare advice, because that's something I do talk about a lot. I've got lots of videos already in my IGTVs or in my YouTube, wherever you're watching this, that are dedicated specifically to rosacea. And there's lots of really personal personal information in those but this is more of a general across the board um, series of products that everybody can enjoy so um, first of all there's a few brands really that I've kind of honed in on because they're less expensive but I think they do a really great job and the first one I'm just going to circle back to I've mentioned them loads and I really love them is CeraVe so CeraVe is an American brand they've not long been in the UK uh, like last few years and I just think they're great the formulas are really simple one of the key things that they really focus on is an ingredient called ceramides which is really great for helping to repair the skin's barrier and essentially everything is formulated in a fragrance free way so um ultimately i mean i'm not hugely opposed to fragrance in skincare i think you know it can add a nice quality to the skincare lots of the time it's from the ingredients but if you were someone that was especially sensitive and needed to not have fragrance in there it's great that it's nice and simple um a few key call outs the moisturizing lotion i think is fantastic it's a lovely rich moisturiser that you could use on your body if you wanted to take it on your face you could what I really like about CeraVe like that's 236 millilitres the bottles are huge they last a really long time and these are under £10 um one of my favourites is the facial moisturising lotion. Even though they all do very similar things I really like this one because if I just show you the texture is actually, even though it's incredibly hydrating, it's not the heaviest in the world. So if you're someone that's dry and you want something really hydrating and you don't want your makeup to cling to patches, but you do need a lot of moisture, facial moisturising lotion could be really good for you. Um, I love the hydrating cleanser of theirs. It's like a gel and it just stays like a gel and melts everything off. I want to touch on the new cleanser. This is hydrating cream to foam cleanser for normal to dry skin. Personally, I tend to avoid anything foaming because I do veer on the side of dry. I like this. I like the cream that it is in the beginning and then the foam is maybe a tiny bit too dry for me. However, one thing that I have repurposed this for that I cannot recommend enough is it makes one hell of a job of your makeup brushes. Now, I don't want you to think I'm being really wasteful. Obviously, that's quite an extravagant way to wash your makeup brushes. I have had this for a very long time and I've just been doing my foundation brushes with it because... Again, I've got an IGTV video about how to wash your makeup brushes that you can have a look at. I tend to recommend just a bit of soapy warm water, does a lovely job of your brushes. But say like that's the kind of foundation brush I would use, a domed brush. I've got one there that I use today. It can be really hard to get all of the foundation out of it. The tiniest pump of that will do a brilliant job of your foundation brush. So just if you were looking to kind of uh, find another purpose for it, I cannot recommend that enough. So anything really from CeraVe, you're not going to go wrong with. And it's great value for many and large sizes. Now, the next kind of instalment I want to give you, I suppose... I'm going to talk about two brands together and they are The Ordinary and The Inky List. So both of these brands are really great. I really like both of them. They both kind of operate on a principle that we kind of can identify ingredients that we need for our skin. And rather than giving you a concoction of all of these ingredients in one formulation, they give you the option to buy single ingredients that you need and really quite tailor make a regime for yourself. Now, 
one of the things that I think is really great about that is for me, a particular ingredient that I love is hyaluronic acid. I know lots and lots of people know and love this ingredient, but just in case you don't, hyaluronic acid is a really hydrating ingredient that is designed to retain moisture. It can hold up to a thousand times its own weight in water. And what that means in English is I find... For me, getting your skincare perfect means that you get your makeup perfect. And if your makeup is looking patchy and clumpy halfway through the day, it's probably because your skin's dehydrated and it's trying to suck the moisture out of your foundation. So if you could give your skin a proper drink of water, then it's going to leave your foundation alone. And like in fairness to me, I'm quite chuffed with my foundation today. I've been doing loads of videos for It Cosmetics today. I've had my foundation on for hours and I haven't had to touch it. And that is because I always really prep my skin before I even go in. So two hyaluronic acids. I haven't got the ordinary one to hand. If I'm honest with you, the ordinary one, yes, it does its job. It's a little bit gloopy. It is a little bit gloopy. You might be a bit like, oh, this feels a bit annoying. But when you slot it into your routine, it will do the job and it will be great. The Inky List Hyaluronic Acid, I found slightly more um, runny. That was a bit more my cup of tea. What I would recommend that you do if you are going to slot a hyaluronic acid in is apply it onto damp skin. Um... I always say like you never stop learning and like I never stop learning. I love reading. I love hearing other people's different points of view. I only started applying to damp skin, I'd say like the last few months and it really does make a difference. And it makes sense like if it's designed to retain moisture, you need to put it with moisture so that it can retain the moisture. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, really good. I feel like I've gone on a real ingredients tangent now and I'm even boring myself. So I'm going to rein it back in. Um, another ingredient I've tried from both brands, The Ordinary and The Inky List, is the niacinamide. Um, great. This is an anti-inflammatory kind of ingredient. It's something that I was noticing in a lot of skincare that I was liking. And funnily enough, um, a few months ago, I started using the Kate Somerville Delicate range, which is really designed for like red, stress sensitized skin. Again, I've got a video on that. But my friend Fiona Brackenbury, she was like, I've had a look at the ingredients of that. And I think it's the niacinamide that you're getting on really well with. Um, now, even though I love that they've created this idea of these individual ingredients, I personally don't think you should get too het up on it. Like find a few steps for a routine that works for you. And that's great. Like it's a lovely treat sometimes to have loads of steps in your routine, but I don't think it's essential to have absolutely lovely skin. And if you find a few bits that work, that's great. Um, one of the call out I'm going to mention is the azelaic acid from The Ordinary. If you're someone um, noticing texture and redness, you may wish to try this. Um, azelaic acid is something that I've previously had from the doctors for rosacea at a higher strength. The highest strength they can give you um, without a prescription is 10%. And this is a version of that that you may wish to try. What I don't have to hand, cleanser-wise, from both of those, I don't have the Squalane cleanser to hand from The Ordinary. That is one of my favourite skincare finds of the year, budget or not, I just think it's lovely. Really buttery cream. It kind of comes out like a cream, melts down into an oil. It takes all of your makeup off. I believe it's 550. Fantastic. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed that. Um, another absolutely cult one and it's a huge size so this is I'm desperately trying to find the size for you 150 millilitres for 9.99 on cult beauty I hope I've got that right I did a quick check of everything before I did this video but I'll put like links to everything in the description box the oat cleansing balm this was really hard to get hold of because everyone was loving it and it was out of stock everywhere it does what it says on the tin. It does smell like oats, which I'm not going to lie, is a bit weird. But it's a lovely rich balm, really great for doing a facial massage, will take all of your makeup off, is not going to irritate your skin. Um, absolutely great. You know, there's someone that I love on here. He's a fellow Brummie. 
Andy Millward, he's a fantastic skin expert and he did a video the other day basically saying, look, there's loads of different reasons why things cost different things. So, for example, when you invest in a higher price product, you're paying for marketing, packaging, um, you know, quality of ingredients, things like that. And that is true. But I do feel like you can still get an absolutely great skin routine without having to pay the earth. Um, I think there's like arguments for both. Okay, really quickly. This, when I checked it, was £2. You could knock me over with a feather. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, it's basically a dual phase eye makeup remover. We've been doing a Tesco like delivery throughout the last few months. And this is one of the things that's available on Tesco. So I just thought I'd give it a go. I keep getting it. It's great. It will get all of your makeup off. No rubbing, rubbing no scrubbing. What I have got, I mean, it's dirty. So do excuse me. But I've started using these. They're like rewashable pads instead of cotton. Really great if you want to get yourself some of those uh, for cleansing or taking your eyes off or whatever. But yeah, that Nivea one, just classic. Shake it up, get your eyes off with it. If I will say one thing through having the odd substitution over the last few months, I don't personally think these gentle eye makeup removers are that good like they just never get as much makeup off as the dual phase so if it's not going to irritate your eyes get a dual phase one and it will really take everything off and if you are someone that needs a gentle one um the la roche posay gentle eye makeup remover is really really great quick one um these lana lips lip balms i always have them by my bed they come in lots of different flavors really great you can pick i think you can pick those up in a lot of supermarkets they used to have it in my supermarket by my flat um really really handy lovely it goes on like an oily thick gel and then when you wake up in the morning it's still an oily thick gel it doesn't properly absorb but i quite like that now a quick brand I want to bring to your attention, which isn't under £10, it's under £20. And I'm kind of going to circle back to my earlier point. So love the thought that the ordinary and the inky list give you these individual ingredients. If you do want someone to have already made you a cocktail of things that works well, that's going to do a good job... I've recently discovered this Harder Labo brand. Um, what's the tagline here? Japan's number one skincare line. Really, really great. They're available in Superdrug. Everything tends to be under £20. And they've just got some lovely formulas. So like this is the skin plumping gel. I love a gel texture like that. I'm sure I've mentioned before, like the Zell and Z Matrix, the Murad Water Charge Gel. That kind of gel consistency just gives your skin a lovely drink, doesn't leave a thick, heavy residue, um, is quite densely packed with moisture. That is beautiful. And then this um, is like a hydrating lotion. In here, you've got your hyaluronic acid, collagen and retinol. You can't really go wrong with that as a combination because they're some of the key ingredients that are going to keep you looking and feeling great. That one, I believe, is about £15. But anyway, as a brand, I've really enjoyed trying a few bits from them. Um, but yeah, there are a few suggestions that I really love and think are great. I'll put some links in the description if you want to have a look at them, but they're all quite widely available. So wherever you usually get your makeup and skincare and uh, I'd love to hear any of yours if there are any brands I haven't mentioned if there's anything you're loving um and yeah I'll make sure I do some more skincare videos there's quite a few brands and things I've been meaning to tell oh do you know what just quickly I've got a minute left um the Garnier Micellar Rose Water Cleanse and Glow this, I mean, I'm only at the top of it. I have been filming videos today. So I have a little box with like my cleansing pads, uh, micellar water, this, that, the other. I'd just run out of my La Roche-Posay and I went on to this. Fantastic. And I believe that's only a few pounds as well. So if you were the kind of person that likes to use a micellar water, take your makeup off and then go in with your cleanser, can't recommend it enough. I mean, the original one, I've used that for years and years and years, but this is like a new variation of it. The rose one, I believe. Um, fantastic. Love it. So anyway, there's a few bits from me. I hope you enjoyed and have a lovely evening. I'll talk to you soon.